right, so we are in uh, the section as in the days of Noah. And so this is talking about um, what Noah uh, experienced before the great flood. Uh, and we're in the conclusion. I'm in the book of Jubilees. No, I'm sorry, the book of Jasher, uh, chapter 5. And it was in the 84th year of the life of Noah that Enoch, the son of Seth, died. He was 905 years old at his death. And in the 179th year of the life of Noah, Canaan, son of Enosh, died. And all the days of Canaan were 910 years, and he died. And in the 234th year of the life of Noah, Mahalalel, the son of Canaan, died. And the days of Mahalalel were 895 years, and he died. And Jared, the son of Mahalalel, died in those days. And in the 336th year of the life of Noah, and all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. And all who followed the Lord died in those days before they saw the evil which God declared to do upon the earth. And after the lapse of many years, in the 480. 80th year of the life of Noah when all those men who followed the Lord had died away from amongst the sons of men and only Methuselah was then left. God said unto Noah and Methuselah saying speak ye and proclaim the sons of men saying thus saith the Lord return from your evil ways and forsake your works and the Lord will repent of the evil that he declared to do to you so that it shall not come to pass. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I give you a period of 120 years. If you will turn to me and forsake your evil ways, then will I also turn away from the evil which I told you, and it shall not exist, saith the Lord. And Noah and Methuselah spoke all the words of the Lord to the sons of men day after day, constantly speaking to them. But the sons of men would not hearken to them, nor incline their ears to their words, and they were stiff-necked. And the Lord granted them a period of 120 years, saying, If they will return, then will God repent of the evil, so as not to destroy the earth. Noah, the son of Lamech, refrained from taking a wife in those days to beget children. For he said, Surely now God will destroy the earth. Wherefore then shall I beget children? And Noah was a just man. He was perfect in his generation. And the Lord chose him to raise up seed from his seed upon the face of the earth. And the Lord said unto Noah, Take unto, take unto thee a wife, and beget children, for I have seen thee righteous before me in this generation. And thou shalt raise up seed, and thy children with thee in the midst of the earth. And Noah went and took a wife, and he chose Namah, the daughter of Enoch, and she was 580 years old. And Noah was 498 years old when he took Namah, for a wife, and Amah conceived and bare a son, and he called his name Japheth, or Japheth, saying, God has enlarged me in the earth, and she conceived again and bare a son, and he called his name Shem, saying, God has made me a remnant to raise up seed in the midst of the earth. And Noah was five hundred and two years old when Amah bare Shem, and the boys grew up in went in the ways of the Lord and all that Methuselah and Noah their father had taught them and Lamech the father of Noah died in those days yet verily he did not go with all his heart in the ways of his father he died in the 195th year of the life of Noah and all the days of Lamech were 770 years and he died and all the sons of men who knew the Lord died in that year before the Lord brought evil upon them. For the Lord willed them to die, so as not to behold the evil that God will bring upon their brothers and relatives, as he had so declared to do. And that time the Lord said to Noah and Methuselah, Stand forth and proclaim to the sons of men all the words that I spoke to you in those days. Peradventure they may turn from their evil ways, and I will then repent of the evil and will not bring it. And Noah and Methuselah stood forth and said in the ears of the sons of men, 
all that God had spoken concerning them. But the sons of men would not hearken, neither would they incline their ears to all their declarations. And it was after this that the Lord said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me on account of their evil deeds. Behold, I will destroy the earth. And thou take unto thee gopher wood, and go to a certain place, and make a large ark, and place it in that spot. And thus shalt thou make it three hundred cubits its length, fifty cubits broad, thirty cubits high. And thou shalt make unto thee a door open at its side. And to a cubit thou shalt finish above, and cover it within and without with pitch. And behold, I will bring the flood of waters upon the earth, and all shall be destroyed from under the heavens. All that is upon earth shall perish. And thou and thy household shall go and gather two couple of all living things, male and female, and shall bring them to the ark to raise up seed from them upon the earth. So... Um, I just want to point out here that uh, it says gather two couples of all living things male and female and shall bring them to the ark to raise up seed from them upon the earth and gather unto thee all food that is eaten by all the animals that there may be food for thee and for them. And thou shalt choose for thy son three maidens from the daughters of men, and they shall be wives to thy sons. And Noah rose up, and he made the ark in the place where God had commanded him, and Noah did as God ordered him. In his 595th year, Noah commenced to make the ark, and he made the ark in five years as the Lord had commanded. Then Noah took the three daughters of Eliakim, son of Methuselah, for wives for his sons, as the Lord had commanded Noah. And it was at this time Methuselah, the son of Enoch, died. Nine hundred and sixty years old was he at his death. I saw I do have a picture here. So, this is a picture that I have. You can't really see. I guess that's what it looked like from afar. There we go. Turkey government confirms the discovery of the ark. No, you tell me, you know. It's just like this one place um, <clears throat> where our ancestors crossed. It's actually in Saudi Arabia. And it's called Jabal al Laws. You can research that. You can Google it. It's in Saudi Arabia. And they have this place um, barricaded off. You can't nobody um, get in there. You got to have special permits and everything. Uh, because they say supernatural stuff happen um, whenever, you know, people try to enter into there. And so um, it's being preserved for us. Um, our ancestors, we crossed into Saudi Arabia, uh, you know, in order to get to Israel. And so... They, these land, these sites are real, uh, you know, 
just you gotta do the research. Alright, so continuing on with the conclusion to as in the days of Noah, um, we go into uh, a bit of my commentary and you know what I have to say. And so, um, a lot of people really don't know the in depth details of what went down with Noah and the great flood. All praises to the Most High. This is the church lesson version that I have on Facebook. I am thankful for the book of Jasher in which this lesson will come from. The book of Jasher is one of many books removed from the original Bible by the Dirty Devils, a.k.a. the Roman Catholic Church, in parentheses, Edom, a.k.a. Caucasians, in parentheses. Before I get into the book of Jasher, I want to bring out Matthew 24, King James Version, verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Verse 39. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. A side note. Um, when you think of rapture, because I have a lesson on the rapture as well. But um, when you think of rapture, you don't want to be taken away. You don't want to be taken away. Listen, people just, it, don't, it just go right over their heads. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. It took them all away into death. So, when you hear stuff about the rapture, you want to be left behind. You want to be left behind because if anybody that gets taken away, they're getting taken away into death. I have a lesson on the rapture. I might share it. I might not. I'm not sure. I probably will. But um, it's it's going to be the same way when, when the coming of man be. Um, you want to be left behind. You don't want to be taken away. What was going on during the days of Noah? <clears throat> Everyone was having a good time. One big party. When you think about marriage, keep in mind what I have said earlier. When you have sex, you marry. What do two or more people end up doing sometimes when alcohol slash spirits are involved? They have sex. Now, I'm not saying sex happens every time, but for the most part, it does. This verse is also speaking of what happened in Genesis 6, King James Version. When the fallen angels came down from the heavens, had sex with women, which the product of that act was the Nephilim giants. These people partied right up until the rain started. They had no idea, even though they was told for 120 years. Let's take a look at the book of Jasher to see if we can make any comparisons to how people acted back then, right before the Most High came with water, and how people are acting in the present, right before the Most High comes with fire. All right, and then so, um, the, I have a title, the book of Jasher. I went into this before, so I'm going to just start. Um, the book of Jasher is confirmed in Joshua 13. And Second Samuel one uh, eighteen, and so you can find, you know, uh, the relevance of the Book of Jasher there. And so I'm just going to start in uh, chapter four, <coughs> uh, the Book of Jasher, chapter four. Verse 3, And Methuselah acted uprightly in the sight of God, and his father Enoch had taught him. And he likewise, during the whole of his life, taught the sons of men wisdom, knowledge, and the fear of God. And he did not turn from the good, and he did not turn from the good way either to the right or to the left. But in the latter days of Methuselah, the sons of men turned from the Lord. They corrupted the earth, they robbed and plundered each other, and they rebelled against God, and they transgressed. And they corrupted their ways, and would not hearken to the voice of Methuselah, but rebelled against him. And the Lord was exceedingly wroth against them, and the Lord continued to destroy the seed in those days, so that there was neither 
sowing nor reaping the earth. For when they sowed the ground in order that they might obtain food for their support, behold, thorns and thistles were produced, which they did not sow. And still the sons of men did not turn from their evil ways, and their hands were extended to do evil in the sight of God. They provoked the Lord with their evil ways, and the Lord was very wroth and repentant that he had made man. And he thought to destroy and annihilate them, and he did so. In those days, when Lamech, the son of Methuselah, was a hundred and sixty years old, Seth, the son of Adam, died. And all the days that Seth lived were nine hundred and twelve years, and he died. And Lamech was one hundred and eighty years old when he took Ashuma, the daughter of Elisha, the son of Enoch, his uncle, and she conceived. And at that time the sons of men sold the ground, and a little food was produced. Yet the sons of men did not turn from their evil ways and they trespassed they trespassed and rebelled against God and the wife of Lamech conceived and bare him a son at that time at the revolution of the year and Methuselah called his name Noah saying the earth was in his days at rest and free from corruption and Lamech his father called his name Menachem saying this one shall comfort us in our works and miserable toil in the earth which God had cursed and the child grew up and was weaned, and he went in the ways of his father Methuselah, perfect and upright with God. So my commentary. Here we are in verse 4. The sons of men turned from the Lord. They corrupted the earth. They robbed and plundered each other. They rebelled against God, and they transgressed, and they corrupted their ways. Would not hearken to the voice of Methuselah, but rebelled against us. Hmm. What is going on in the Negro community? And doesn't that also sound like Deuteronomy 28, 54, verse 55, King James Version? And that reads as follows, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. 55. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat because... He have nothing left. He have nothing left him in the siege. And in the straightness wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in all thy gates. What about all the swindlers and cheaters operating in our own community? What about all the child molestation and sex trafficking in the church as well as the conscious community? These people say, I don't want to hear what the Most High has to say. And my favorite, I'm going to do me. As if that is not narcissistic. Oh, I'm going to do me. Well, what's you? Now, Methuselah, the son of Enoch, was a prophet of the Most High before the flood, who warned the people to change their ways. You see here, nothing has changed. You see back then how the younger generation berated he rates the older generation about reading the Bible and going to church with saying things like, this is not fun. I don't have time to read that stuff. I have a party I got to get to. You sit there with your scrolls and have fun with your God. This is happening today. This is why the Catholics took certain books out of the Bible so that they could keep my people dumbed down. But these books all tie in with the Bible. Verse 5 and 6, the Most High began to dry up the land for lack of food. These are signs, people, when you can no longer get the amount of food you used to get. No matter how much money you spend, your refrigerator can't seem to stay full, even to the point where you buy buying groceries almost every day. Think about it. When I was a boy, my parents went to the grocery store way less than I do now. Food, and I live by myself, mind you. I live by myself. It's just me up in here. Yeah, and I go to the grocery store way more than my parents do. Um, food has become so expensive, and it's poison. Signs of when you know it's over. It's not hard to see. Just look at the days of Noah. This is why the Catholic Church won't allow people to read the books they remove, like the Book of Enoch, the Book of Jasher, the Book of Wars, the Book of Jubilees, and the Apocrypha. Uh, that includes all the 12 testaments of our forefathers the 12 sons of Jacob because it shows just what was going down right before the great flood and it also shows how to prepare for the fire to come 
what was going on that was so heinous, heinous, <laughs> heinous, I'm sorry, and perverted that the Most High had to destroy the earth. Continuing in the book of Jasher, chapter 4, 16, and all the sons of men departed from the ways of the Lord in those days as they multiplied upon the face of the earth with sons and daughters, and they taught one another their evil practices, and they continued sinning against the Lord. And every man made unto himself a god, and they robbed and plundered every man his neighbor as well as his relative. They, and they corrupted the earth, and the earth was filled with violence. And their judges and rulers went to the daughters of men and took their wives by force from their husband according to their choice. And the sons of men in those days took from the cattle of the earth and the beasts of the field and the fowls of the air and taught the mixture of animals of one species with the other in order there was to provoke the Lord. And God saw the whole earth it was corrupt for all flesh had corrupted its ways upon earth all men and all animals and the Lord said I will blot out man that I created from the face of the earth yet yeah, from man to the birds of the air together with cattle and beasts that are in the field for I repent that I made them and all men who walked in the ways of the Lord died in those days before the Lord brought the evil upon man which he had declared for this was from the Lord and they should not see evil which the Lord spoke of concerning the sons of men Noah found grace in the sight of the Lord and the Lord chose him and his children to raise up seed from them upon the face of the whole earth and then this is my commentary this is what I have to say is this not what is going on in the earth right now, especially verse 16 and 17, and every man made unto himself a God? And this also falls into that belief that, you know, the woman is God, um, and all these other different silly beliefs, um, you know, such as polygamy and stuff like that, um, which is, you know, I want to point out. Because we, in, as in the days of Noah, uh, for people that, you know, deal in polygamy and think that, you know, that's acceptable, then, um, you know, you have to look at, at Noah. Noah didn't have multiple wives. The Most High didn't instruct Noah to have multiple wives, multiple children by multiple wives. So, and, and the most high don't change, you know, so that's how I know. And, you know, ladies, think about that. Think about that, you know. And these, the guys that did have multiple wives, they're a lot different than these guys today. I don't care what super Hebrew they try to come off. It's just not possible. Somebody going to be lacking somewhere. And I ain't trying to speak for everybody, but that is real, though. The Most High only instructed Noah to have a wife. He didn't say have multiple wives. The Most High only instructed Noah uh, to get to take three wives for, or to take wives for his three sons, and they all had one wife, even the animals, one and one. They might have like um, four zebras, but it was, you know, sets. One set of male and female, and another set of male and female. So, there goes that polygamy crap. And so, um, look at verse 18. Their judges and rulers went to the daughters of men and took their wives by force from their husbands according to their choice. Here's your corrupt court system. The judges were committing adultery and rape. Doesn't the court system today let murderers? rapists and pedophiles off with no conviction also the sons of men in those days took from the cattle of the earth the beasts of the field and the fowls of the air and taught mixture of animals and one species with the other in order to, in order there was to provoke the lord to anger here's your gmos aka cross splicing of plants and animals most of the food in the supermarkets are cloned hey to all you vegans you know that plant-based meat 
that's grown in labs. Here you go. They also did much worse. They were having sex with animals. This is how you got the half man, half beast. This was all happening before the great flood. It was so bad that the Most High repented he made man. The same evilness going on right now in the present time before the Most High sends back his son and he is coming with fire. Okay, and then so I read the book of Jasher uh, chapter 5 already. And so you can go back to my previous videos to rewatch that. But it's the book of Jasher and it's chapter 5, 1 through 36. And so I'm going to give my commentary on here. Verses 6 through 8 is key. Here's where the Most High told Noah and Methuselah that he would give man 120 years to repent and turn from our evil ways. In verses 8 through 11, you see Methuselah and Noah preaching to the people for 120 years, but the people were stiff necked, aka hard headed, just like my people today who cannot be told anything. See, nothing has changed, there is nothing new under the sun. During this 120 year period of preaching, Noah did not have sex and marry. I love how the Most High is about order. Right after the 120 years had passed, the Most High commanded Noah to take a wife and be fruitful and multiply. Noah and Namah, the daughter of Enoch, produced three sons, Japheth, Shem, in parentheses, father of the Negro, natives, and Latinos, in parentheses, and Ham, in parentheses, not the father of the Negroes but the father of the Ethiopians, Libyans, Egyptians, and the Canaanites, in parentheses. Namah was 580 years old, and Noah was 498 years old when he took Namah for a wife. I would like to also point out how Lamech, who was Noah's father, did not make it onto the ark, unfortunately. He died at the age of 770 when Noah was 195 years young, Lamech's life was cut short because he turned away from the Most High and did not follow the Most High with all his heart. During the time of Noah and Methuselah preaching, the Most High removed all the men in earth who knew him and followed him. Keep in mind, this would be around Pangea time, period. And no, that was not no millions of years ago. Pangea did exist, and the reason why I brought this up is because some people some people picture the earth as it is today when they think of the Great Flood. Keep in mind, this was before the Tower of Babylon. And so, I do have a picture here. Just to show. Maybe we got to keep this in mind. At one point in time, the earth looked like this. Okay, um, I'm trying to start no debates with no flat earthers, please. I'm over that. We we need to be over this flat earth debate stuff now. I mean, it's it's time to get past that. Um, I know that the earth is not flat. Okay, um, so that's my stance on it, and I am about to be sitting up here trying to prove to everybody how I know the earth is is round. Um. You know, if you don't believe that, hey, that's on you. But I think the most important part is the people that's on the earth. It's people that have actions on, on the earth. Because knowing who you are, knowing where you come from, that's more important than knowing if the earth is flat around. Okay? And so, that is my commentary and this has been my uh, as in the days of Noah I do also have another uh, lesson um, that I am going to put out about uh, Noah it's my as in the days of Noah part 2 um, I am going to share that but once again I do thank everybody for taking the time out to watch my videos 
uh, you know, like I said, it's not about the likes or anything else. Um, this is just another side to me, you know, something that I'm into. Like I said, I like history and I like biblical history um, and the history of our people. So I definitely thank you for uh, checking me out. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. Thank you.